Yo, this is my second video for selling your art online, uh, the beginning stages. So a lot of people have videos where they, you know, they show you how to sell artwork online, but they usually are already doing it or are already successful, and you never get to really see, you know, how they got there. So what I'm doing is these videos. I'm showing you, you know, where I started and where I'm going to be, let's say, five, six months, and I'm gonna be documenting everything. So, you know, you won't be discouraged, um, and you won't, you know, have an excuse why you should not start now. Uh, and you'll be able to see that a lot of the issues that you're dealing with, I'm dealing with as well. I mean, it's only my second video. I've had my shop open for a week, a couple weeks. So it's really in the, you know, the beginning stages. So now this video is about uh, creating, you know, original artwork. Um, I believe I covered in the last video, you know, some the, the general take on uh, copying other people's work. Now, just to reiterate and sum up, uh, it's okay to copy someone else's work. Uh, to practice and you know, cr like formulate your your style that's how i came up with my style i looked you know i looked at all my favorite artists and i would emulate what they did and eventually you start to mix and match and put them together to make it your own now the the problem with this is when you start copying an artist exactly uh, you don't change anything and then you try to say it's your own work and then you try to profit off it that that's not cool uh I would get pissed if someone did that to me and you know you would get pissed if someone did it to you so that's what you need to stay away from uh, yeah, guys it's, it's really easy to you know take something and then change a few things and make it your own it's just like it's like DJs you know they take a couple songs put it together now it's a different song but you still can see the remnants of the original songs but they put their own spin on it and that's you know that's what you need to do with your artwork if you are you know if you're stuck or you can't come up with something just completely out of your head then I'm gonna show you my process on you know how I can create art uh, by using references I mean I references are you know one of the best ways to learn uh, if, if you don't have a Pinterest account start one now um, you can follow me on Pinterest I'll have it in the link um, I might have covered this in the last video I don't know but I'm so pissed because I, I've been building this Pinterest account for five, six years. You know, I got like 30, 25,000, 30,000 followers, 50,000 pins, and it was all for artwork. And you know, I used it for references, uh, you know, anatomy, you know, study, painting, what, whatever. But I'm so mad because my account got suspended like a month ago, um, and it would have been the perfect uh, vehicle to sell my artwork through I mean everything I post is hitting 25,000 people you know so that's that's a really good platform to have and for some reason I I got it suspended I I, I, I don't know exactly why I have a I kind of have an idea uh, I have a board that um, has a bunch of naked women on it and they're not all naked uh, don't get me wrong uh, a lot of them, you know, have clothes on, they have, you know, bikinis, but the main thing with this board was to, you know, really learn how to draw women's anatomy, and what better way to do that than from an actual person, and uh, if the woman happens to be naked, I, I'm sorry, that's, that's what we naturally look like, and for someone to have a problem with that and flag my account and get my account suspended, whoever did that, fuck you, I mean... Go kill yourself, cause there's just no reason for that. I just don't. I just don't understand. And then all the pins that I pinned, they weren't even, you know, they weren't like I uploaded them. I just pinned them from other people's Pinterest, so they're already up there. Uh, so I'm, I'm right now. I'm trying to get that figured out and get my account back. But you know, whoever is flagging me, you know, just fuck off. Get a life. Whatever. Okay, moving on. Uh, all right. So today I'm gonna show you. Uh, just what I've been working on, um, the references I used, and you know how I, you know, made it my, my own. 
uh, when I edit this video, I'll put a picture on the screen so you can see the, you know, the beginning uh, image that I used. Uh, it kind of looks like, kind of looks like that. It's by uh, Jamie Thomas, I believe. He, you know, he does all the gorillas. Um, and so, but what I did with that is, you know, I sketched out the, uh, you know, the 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 frame of the picture, so I know where everything goes. And then I started, you know, tweaking it to make it, you know, somewhat of my own. So, as you can see, it is similar, but you know, now it's now it's my own. You know, now I now I uh, I can say that I, you know, designed that. Um, yeah. So just, I mean. I added a bank, an open bank vault in the back. I, you know, changed this up here. It was originally like a, you know, like a police star. And I don't, you know, I don't like police, so I'm not gonna draw a picture of one that looks cool. And plus, that would make sense because he's robbing a bank. So, whatever. Um, so now that I have this, uh, the next step would be figuring out how I'm gonna color it. Uh, what I like to do is. You know, in order to come up with the color scheme, is I'll find pictures where I just really like the feel to it. Uh, a lot of those pictures or images, you know, have that I uh, use them use their color palette are uh, graffiti uh, images, um, throw ups, burners. Uh, for some reason, graffiti artists are really good at you know choosing the color they use in their pieces, and they really know how to make you know certain shit pop out. So that's like a one way I like to, uh, you know, get my palette from. Another way is uh, Adobe has a, a Adobe Cooler, I believe is the name. It's a, a program where it just gives you a bunch of color schemes that, you know, all go together really well. So that's, you know, that's another way to do it. Um, and then after you figure out your color, uh, you you want to figure out how it's actually going to look. I mean, you can have it, everything. You can have five different paintings, all the same color scheme, but all look different. Uh, depending on, you know, the texture you put into it, uh, um, you know, the type of shading, um, the design, the, you know, how saturated it is, whatever. You know, there's a million ways to tweak it. So I'm gonna, you know, pause this video and then I'll come back with the colored version. All right, so I'm pretty much done with all the coloring that I want to do on paper. Uh, just so you guys can see. This is what I came up with, uh, and now what I'm going to do from here is I'm going to either take a picture, scan it in, and then uh, edit, you know, a couple things on Photoshop just to, you know, make it a finished product, I guess. Um, and then once I have that, I'm going to create a print out of it and then put it on NC, and then yeah, and then that's it. So. I will get back with you guys uh, once I have this image up in Photoshop and I'll do a video on that kind of showing you uh, the techniques that I use to um, to edit my photos and prints. I'll see you guys in a bit. Oh, nah, nah.